how's it going? It's me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark, though I am getting much better about cross-listing onto eBay, which has been um, both really exciting and actually very effective. I've had a lot of eBay sales recently. And on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do hauls like this, I'll do what's sold videos, I'll do unboxings, all that good stuff. So if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. So in today's video, I went to the Goodwill bins. Um, I went back to the ones in Milwaukee, Oregon. Um, I just like it better. I think I'm just more comfortable there. It's the one I go to all the time. It's the one that's closest to my apartment. It's also really close to my work and my gym and all of that. And it's really big. There's not a lot of carts, which I mean, that's a downer, but I did actually get one eventually today, which was nice. Um, but it's just so big and it was kind of quiet today and I tend to find good stuff. So I went back. <laughs> uh, so I got 42.1 pounds today for $1.29. Um, which is the cheapest at over like 26 pounds. I always get that wrong, something like that. It goes down to $1.29. So I end up spending 54.31 on all of this stuff. So sorry I've been so kind of like MIA and hectic. I know my videos have kind of been far and in between. I don't think that's the saying. I haven't been putting out too many videos recently. I've mentioned a few times how just, you know, crazy things have been and you guys understand everything's just crazy all the time. Last week I went to the bins and I was gonna go more than once cause I am trying to transition into full-time reselling more um, this summer and, <laughs> but I was gonna go twice, but I didn't have time. My husband's family came in. It was his graduation um, the same from law school, the same day as my birthday, which was the 21st of May. So we were celebrating that. I'm really sunburnt and you can't tell, but we were sitting out in the sun. So I was just exhausted. Um, that was this weekend, today's Monday. And hopefully I'll go to the bins maybe once or twice more because I did mention that I quit my other part-time job, but things happened and they need my help. So I'll be helping out there at least for not this week, but the next two full weeks of June. Um, and then I have a wedding to go to. So things are crazy. Things are crazy. You guys get it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I'm sorry. I'll try and put out some more videos. Probably gonna be a lot of haul videos. So hopefully you guys like that. I'll try and get my What's Sold videos, my What's Sold Sunday videos out again. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what I got and I'm gonna stop talking. So I will start with actually probably my best find today and that was $7. <laughs> I found seven dollars. I'm pretty sure all singles in the pocket of a vest um, today. And you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I was so like nervous to like take it out or you know put it in my pocket that I just took it out of the pocket of a vest and put it in the pocket. My cat's playing with it. Put it in the pocket of something else I was buying. I don't know. I was like, I don't want them to yell at me that I'm keeping money from something. I don't know. I was nervous about it, but that was really exciting. I've, never found just straight up money um, in the pocket of something at the bins before or anywhere. I found $5 in something later after I bought it, not realizing it was in there, but I was excited about that. <laughs> Here is a pair of just like wool trouser pants. Um, I'm planning on just sending these into the real real and see if they'll take them. If you guys remember, if you saw my last bins haul, I got a silk scarf by this brand, Albert Nippon. Um, and I'm just going to try and sell it myself because it seemed like they weren't really selling their scarves on the real real. And I don't know if they'll take these pants. I don't know if they're kind of selective with this brand, but I thought I would pick it up just to send into them and see what happens. So this is a new to me brand and you guys are going to have to let me know if you sold it before, because I don't think I have, maybe I have, I don't think I have though. It just sounded really familiar to me. This one piece, I have no idea how this goes. It's a dress and it's by Ishakti. This one's a 1X, stepping on my cat. <laughs> um, and it's just a long red wrap dress with pockets. I looked up comps and they seem to be anywhere between like 30 plus dollars. And I think I've heard this was a good brand. I don't know. I don't know if I'm getting it confused with something, but let me know. I am excited to try that out. I found two dresses by that brand today. So I am interested to hear from you guys if you sold it before. I'm excited to try it out. 
This, there was a lot of vintage stuff there today, but I picked up this one. It's Nordstrom Intimate and it's extra large. And I picked it up because it's actually 100% silk. It has the little snaps to snap your bra in. And it's like a square neckline. And I just thought that this was nice. It's in excellent condition, um, especially for being an older piece. And I thought that that might do well. I like to sell my vintage stuff on Depop mostly, um, but I'm trying to be better about cross-listing it. I always list everything on Poshmark, but cross-listing it over to eBay now. At least they're just LuLaRoe, tall and curvy. I don't know. These I thought might be kind of like one of their Disney collabish pieces because it's the Headless Horseman and they have that Headless Horseman movie. <laughs> There's my kitten. Um, so we'll see. I don't think I'll get much for these. Probably list them for like 10 bucks, but I don't know. I like the Headless Horseman. It's, I love Halloween too. I got a few Halloween pieces in here. You guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but it was hard to leave them behind. I got a couple of Hannah Anderson kids like cardigans. I thought they were the same, but I'm pretty sure they're different. This is their US size 12. They're just basic little white knit cardigans. I do really well with Hannah Anderson. I think they're headquartered in Portland or in Oregon somewhere I heard. So that's probably why I find it a lot. Um, and this is from 2020, so not too old. This one. And I think this was the, yeah, the other one. This one's more of a waffle knit, but they're both um, Hannah Anderson size 12. This one's very precious. This one's probably also, this one's from 2019. But cute. I think those will sell pretty quickly. I do really well with kids stuff on Mercari specifically. Um, the shipping is less if it weighs less on Mercari than like on Poshmark. So I make sure to put it over there. Um, this is just Old Navy size large kind of cute um, chambray like top. I got it because it was new with tags. It's on sale for $5.97, but I could see the original price. It's like $35. So I thought I would just, you know, take off the clearance tags and see if anyone would want this. I think it's cute. I could probably find a model photo for it. Here is a Sundance top, size extra large. I think this is linen. It's just really cute, lightweight, light blue. Oversized top. Let's see if it's linen. Yeah, 100% linen. I like this brand a lot. Um, I mostly just do well with their embroidered pieces, even if they are t-shirts. So this one's a little bit plain, but I definitely wasn't gonna leave it behind. I think, you know, at worst, I could still probably get about 20 bucks for it. So that's not bad. This isn't broken, but I do need to tie it. Um, it's a cute little halter dress with a low back. You're not really getting the full effect, but a really cute summery spring floral dress. The brand is Kimchi Blue, which is sold at Urban Outfitters, I believe. It's a size four. I think if I could find a nice model photo for it, this will actually sell really well. This is a new to me brand, but I quickly looked up comps and, oh, okay, great. The zipper's This happens to me every time with kid stuff, I swear. I was just so distracted by kind of like how fun and cute it is. It's like a, rain a full body rain jacket for a kid um with really cute little animals on it but the zipper is broken the brand if you see it was jan and jewel kid's name on it jan and jewel and they do seem to have pretty good comps it seemed like i could probably sell this for like between 25 and 30. um but yeah it's broken it's probably not worth fixing <laughs> This I loved. I thought this was so cute. It's just a cute little Nike tank, but it has like leopard print and it's like a muscle tee design. It's a size medium. It's called the Nike tee. <laughs> look at, look at her. She is such a ham. Are you a ham? Are you falling asleep? She's so sleepy all the time. Um, this is from, I think 2020, spring of 2020. Nike's also headquartered in Portland. So I find a ton of it. This is so cute. I wish it was my size, but probably a little bit small. Here is a brand I haven't really found or picked up in a really, really long time, um, but it does, in the past, it's done really well for me on ThreadUp and also on eBay. And since I'm back selling on eBay more, I thought I'd pick it up. It's soft surroundings. It's a size PXL, so I think it's petite, extra large, um, but it's actually like an oversized tunic with this really, really, 
stunning beadwork. And I looked really closely and it does seem like it's all there, if anything, maybe a few loose ones. I mean, I haven't seen, um, but mostly just that the big like floral parts are intact and it looks like it's, it's not real turquoise, but they have like the faux turquoise in there. And I mean, I'm not a big fan of the stripes, <laughs> but the beadwork is just stunning. And I think it has pockets. Yeah, they even have some pockets. So I think this will do really well. It's just 100% cotton, but I'm excited about that piece. Here is a really precious, um, I believe, leather backpack. It needs some love, but I kind of got excited because it's just been such a long time since I've got to <laughs> clean up some leather pieces. I actually really enjoy cleaning up like leather shoes, leather bags. Um, obviously, if they're one worth cleaning up and two, you know, not beyond my abilities. I do have leather polish and just leather soap. I think um, this might be a little bit hard to get out. It is a pen mark, but I have a couple of techniques to try and get it out. Um, and then just probably like take a lighter to these loose strings up here. The brand is Lancaster <laughs> Paris. And I, I don't know, I don't think that's anything super special, but this bag is just adorable. Oh, there's a bunch of trash in it. Is there more money? No. Dip dipsticks. Well, I'm guessing this is some kids, some kids' school backpack maybe. Tea. A goodwill receipt for fabric. Yeah, I think just based on style alone, it's just it's too cute, and it actually is in really good condition on the outside, besides that pen mark, and a couple of little stains that I think I'll be able to get out. Um, it's so cute. So yeah, I'll try my hardest to save it. Didn't deserve to go to the trash. Here is a J. Jill piece. Again, if you saw my last bins haul, I picked up a J. Jill black blouse similar to this. This I think is a dress, but that was from their Love Linen collection, which I've heard really good things about. It sold pretty quickly over on eBay and this isn't their Love Linen collection, but I thought I would try it out uh, because it's like a cute little tunic dress it is like knee length and it's black and it has a cute kind of like double layered look i thought i would try that out it's a size medium and i know jjill's expensive to begin with and it is kind of just like a mall brand but i think it might do well these were just a pair of distressed skinny jeans this is the brand seven for all mankind and it's really not um one that i get excited about but again it is something that retails retails pretty high. Um, this is B Air denim line, the skinny ankle. It's distressed, so it's good for summer. Um, but yeah, I didn't really look too much into it. I liked the way it looked, and I think it's a little bit newer, which is good. They have all the tags. I think it's a size 29. I love selling denim. It's like my favorite thing. Um, speaking of denim, I got these adorable little PacSun shorts. They're the mom short and they're size two, 22. I did not see that. Wow, those are tiny. It's pretty much kids size. I thought they'd be like a double zero maybe. Um, but people do like PacSun. I don't think it'll let me list it as a 22 on Poshmark. I didn't really realize that they were so tiny, but they're so Cute. I do still have a couple of bags of things to send to Plato's Closet, but I don't know. I'm sure someone's looking for a size 22. These are BDG, which is Urban, Out Urban Outfitters house brand, um, or one of them. This is a size 26. These are the Slim Street. These are also distressed. Raham. These do have a stain on them, but I'm hoping I will be able to get it out. It's like right there. Yeah, Slim Straight is still really popular. People do seem to like BDG jeans. They're a little bit of a slower move for me, but I like the way they look. Again, Plato's Closet would probably take those. Hi, cute girl. Are you making sure you're in the camera? This um, was with a new bin rotation that I was at. I it felt like high quality. It was a YKK zipper. So I grabbed it and I put it in my cart to look it up like later. <laughs> um, but it's a zip front bra and it's actually 
Uh, is that Kalia? Carrie Underwood's brand? That's the logo for it. I always get a little like, is that the logo? But yeah, I am pretty sure. I didn't see a size. Um, hopefully I can find one because I don't think I'd be any good at determining <laughs> the size of a bra sports bra or anything, but maybe I'll look on their website for measurements. That brand has done okay for me in the past. I think I've mostly just found it at the bins and picked it up there. This is a new to me brand, but it's one I get a lot of ads for. Um, and I picked it up because it was new with tags. It's just a blouse, like a 70s inspired, which is really trendy right now. Blouse, it's from the brand Cider. Cider. <laughs> And it's a size small. This is a really cheapy fast fashion brand. Um, but since it was new with tags and pretty cute, I thought I would try it out and I could probably find a model photo for it. And I think someone threw these back kind of like right when I was over there, but they, I picked these up based on style. Again, pretty 70s, or at least what I would consider to be 70s, the faux wood block heels, this color, almost, almost like a clog style, but not really. Um, Goodwill wanted 13 for these, so you know they're from Target. <laughs> they're from Target. They're actually a size 12, which is a really nice size. And honestly, they're probably new because I know my Goodwills only get really like new things from Target. That's why they mark them up so high. But I'll probably just, I'm not gonna list them as new because there's no like, um, things on them and you know good we'll put marker on the bottom but yeah really cute i'm not gonna get too much of them because they are target but i'll probably list them around 20 probably i like that style this is zella uh, a brand that i don't know why i keep picking up um but i do it's a really hard sell for me goodwill wanted ten dollars had a goodwill tag on it um it's a i believe a nordstrom house brand but I liked this. I thought this was a nice, fun kind of like play on tie dye. There's their logo. Brand, this stuff again can retail, retail really high because <laughs> they sell it at Nordstrom. They do have a lower line Z by Zella, um, which I do not pick up, but yeah, I don't know. I pick up their stuff at the bins. I would never pick it up at Goodwill. When my favorite Goodwill, before it closed, the only thing it would ever mark up was that brand. I don't know why. But yeah, that was all they did. Here's another brand I haven't looked up yet, but it looks like it might be an equestrian brand. And it's just like a t-shirt and Goodwill wanted 13 for it. So I thought I might as well look it up. It's a 2XL and I believe it's a woman's. It's just a V-neck, but it has the little horse logo there on the front. It's almost like a dry fit. Aubryon, I think is maybe how you pronounce that. But I am excited to look that up. This is just a no boundary skirt, which is sold at Walmart, but I liked the distressing. I thought it was cute. Goodwill wanted $10 for it. I bet they even knew that that was Walmart. Um, I'm probably gonna sell it around $10, $12. <laughs> It'll probably sell on Mercari, um, but I just really like that style. It's a size, size three. So that's like a junior's three. It's so probably like a two or a four. This is probably a bad buy, but I think I could always bring it to Plato's Closet. It's a pair of new with tag. Tag kind of got ripped. It was probably on clearance. Forever 21, cute pink wide leg paper bag, pants with the belts. Cute for spring and summer. I think someone would style this nice. I think what I say. They're size large. They're pretty small for large. Goodwill, again, wanted $10 for these because they're insane. But hopefully I can find like a model photo for those. I always tell what I picked up first because I was desperate when I get there and I'm worried I'm not gonna find anything good. These are also new with tag. These are a size 18, highest rise cheeky short. Wild Fable, which I do like to pick up and resell. It's just a Target brand, but people do like them. These are quite the cheeky short. They are right. Bigger size, which is good. Um, and Goodwill actually only wanted seven for these and they didn't sell. So here is another Target brand. Not one I usually pick up, Universal Thread. It's the same brand as the shoes were. These are size four and they're button fly. And I don't know, shorts will sell pretty quick um, as soon as summer hits. 
These are the High Rise Shorty from 2018, so a little bit older. But they have the button fly, and I thought that was nice. Let's see my gorgeous pile. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that you guys can see me throwing things. Here are a few of the Halloween kids pieces I picked up. They were all from H&M, so I think someone probably just donated all their kids stuff from last year, but they're a size, this is a size four to six US, and it's a little skeleton suit. These are always so popular around Halloween, but I'm also gonna use words like Courtney and Travis, like the Kardashian, Courtney Kardashian. Um, because they were wearing something similar to this at, um, in one of the recent episodes of their new show, The Kardashians, and also market it that way and see if anyone wants it, but I might have to sit on it until Halloween, which is fine. This I just could not leave. I love bats, and I thought these were so cute. Also, H&M, four to six. Yeah, this I'm gonna be sitting on for a while. Especially because I don't do well with H&M, but it's just so cute. This is a Madewell size extra large. Kind of cute um, mustard orange striped top. Fall 2019. I don't know. I still pick up Madewell when I see it. Why? I have no idea, but I liked it. Plato's would also probably take that if it doesn't sell. Not that I have yet to actually take anything to Plato's closet, but... Here's another beanie. It says Badlands on it. I didn't look it up. <laughs> Figured I would just look it up when I got home. Just a beanie. This is a pretty cute, kind of plain uh, skirt. It has this like elasticated sides almost, I think to help you fit into it. I don't know, it's a size 12. <laughs> And it's from Blink Noir, which I didn't really look up, but the skirt is 100% leather. So I thought I would try it out. Um, I'll probably make sure to list it on Depop. Here is something I picked up for myself. It's a Levi's tee, but if you guys um, watched any of my recent videos, you might have heard that we will be moving to San Francisco <laughs> uh, at the end of the summer. So I thought this was cute to have. I really love this graphic. This is another top I think I might keep. There is some stains right there. It's Athleta and it's just this nice oversized kind of like cap sleeve tee. It's really big. It's a size extra large. Um, if I could get those stains out, I'll see if it's worth anything, but I might just keep it. This, I don't know. I don't always sell this brand. Um, but I liked this piece. It's philosophy and it's a 1X and it's kind of like a kimono. It feels like faux suede and it's this pretty floral stretchy jacket. That'd be nice to wear over something like at night, to like a wedding, something like that. This is faux leather. So I guess they, it's meant to feel more like suede, like I said. Um, but yeah, pretty floral print. Hopefully I can find more information out about that, like a model photo or something. Here is a pair of Janie and Jack sweatpants. I've sold these kids, this kid's brand once before and it did pretty well. These aren't in great condition, but I liked how they're kind of like a bell bottom almost, flare-ish. Just blue pair of sweatpants. This I think I picked up because I've always wanted to try this brand out but I really don't think it's worth very much at all. I got this top once in a thread up box and it ended up having a hole in it in gray. And this one's in black, it's Chaser. <laughs> and it's a size medium, Chaser. Just a black waffle knit, waffle knit. <laughs> Stretchy long sleeve top. This does have a brand. I don't know why I was having such a hard time finding the brand. It's just right there. It's Old Navy, it's a 2XL. And they're a pair of men's swim trunks. I got them specifically because of the flag print. I will usually pick up a lot of like American flag print stuff, especially um, before summer, you know, right around this time. Um, so people can pick them up for like Memorial Day and the 4th of July, things like that. Here's a Patagonia skirt, size small. Um, this one I was, you know, contemplating not picking up because it's again, not like a Patagonia piece that people are searching for, I imagine. But I picked up a similar skirt to this 
that also um, you can like change into a dress. It was like a, re not reversible, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like a two in one thing. And I got it at the bins and it sold really fast. So I'm hoping this will as well. I sort of use the keyword travel. It could be a nice travel skirt. Like if you're hiking and you think you might be going somewhere nice um, at some point, or not hiking, like backpacking. I don't know. This is a Rails size medium. I still get pretty excited when I find this brand because I don't find it too often. It has some sort of tie sleeve situation. Um, reminds me of kind of like a, a train conductor print. Let's see. Goodwill wanted $8 for it. Not much to it. <laughs> Haven't sold this brand too many times, but I think I've sold everything that I have picked up. This, oh, I love this sweater. I picked it up because it's 100% cashmere. It's just halogen and it's a size extra small. Halogen is sold at Nordstrom um, and probably other places, but look how gorgeous and bright that is. Just some rainbow stripes. I did look pretty closely to see if there were any holes and I didn't see any. There is some pilling, so I'll just carefully shave that off as to not actually create a hole. Yeah, thought this would, again, be nice for spring and summer, like a, at night or something on the boat. It is pretty small, it's a size extra small, but we'll see. This I need to look a little bit more into. It's the brand Lise or Lise. It's a size extra large and they're just some like black trousers. I've heard of this brand. Oh, they're size 1X actually. I've heard of this brand and some listings were between like 30 and 40. So I thought I would at least pick them up and try them out and you know, see if they're worth it. They seem like they would be pretty comfortable. Here is a jacket because I always pick up jackets. It's actually by the brand Roxy, which is kind of more like a surfer beachy brand. At least that's how, what I think of. Um, maybe it's more like a skateboard brand, but it's a size large and it's Sherpa lined and it's an asymmetrical soft denim jacket. Someone had thrown this back. Probably could use a little bit of a deep pilling, but I thought it was really cute, kind of like oversized. Looks like there might have been a year on it, but it got washed away. But it is in nice condition. The back is just denim. And I'm hoping I find a model photo for it. Here is that other Eshakti e 1X dress. This one is the first one I found. A little bit different. This would be nice for a wedding. They're like midi and midi length, I think. This one also has pockets. Yeah, they're definitely like a heavier weight stretchy material. So that's what made me also think that they were nice. Is that they feel nice. I'm almost done getting to the bottom of the second bag. This was Victoria's Secret, I think. Yeah, Victoria's Secret swimwear. These are size medium. I don't know how old these are and I do just only have the bottoms but they have the lining on them still. So it made me think that no one wore them. They don't have the tag, but I don't know. They're kind of cute. <laughs> you could probably pair it with like a bathing suit that's like navy blue or something if you have one. This is a new to me brand and I still don't really know too much about it. I just quickly looked it up, but it seemed like some of their pieces could go for like 30-ish dollars. I really liked this color knit print. I think it's vintage. Um, it's kind of like an oversized jacket, jacket, if you will. And I think it would actually sell pretty well on Depop. It's really big. I don't think there's a size, but it's probably like an extra large or a 1X. Yeah, be like a nice knit cardigan kind of. Did it have any tags? Yeah, let's see if it's linen. 100% cotton, made in Thailand. Here are a pair of Old Navy Rockstar Super Skinny High Rise jeans. I was hoping these were my size, but they're not. They're size six. They're light wash. And well, I don't really like when jeans are like this, but I know some people do. Kind of like the patch. So over style. Again, I thought these would be kind of cute for summer. These, I realized when I was putting them in my car that they had a couple of stains. If I saw those, I probably wouldn't have picked them up. Um, but since I already got them. I will treat them and hopefully that'll come out. This is cabby. I find so much cabby recently. Shirts like this, like they're lightweight sheer polyester shirts. 
Again, I just really liked this print. They always have a code if the tags are on the inside that makes it easy to look up. Um, so I'll probably just list that myself and see what I can get for it. This is the Nike T size large and it's kind of like from their Pride collection, I guess. I think this is from 2019. I always pick up Pride stuff and doesn't usually sell well for me, but I'm hoping it will. I don't know why it says be true on the inside. I don't know if it's supposed to be like, I don't know. I'll take a look it up. Again, it's from 2019. There's a pair of sweatpants that I just got for myself because they were so soft. They're the brand Athletic. Three more favorite finds of today. This was the first time I found this brand and it's really hard to read the label, but it does say the mountain. It's a size extra large and I've actually never found this brand. Um, some of the t-shirt guys missed it, you know, I talk about that a lot, how those people just like will either push or pull all the stuff like towards them, kind of just looking for, I imagine t-shirts with graphic prints and they aren't really concerned about brands and stuff. So when they were doing that, um, they missed this gorgeous, I found so much Eagle stuff, but this gorgeous Eagle over a landscape, there is, it's not without flaws. There's a hole and some like, I don't know, paint stains but it's really nice. I don't know how popular these are anymore. The front's a little beat up. There's a little hole in the front. Um, but I don't know, I think this is really nice, really cool. They make some of those ones with like dogs on it. I think if you Googled it, you know what I was talking about. This is another thing I was really excited for. I couldn't figure it out at first and I'm still having a hard time figuring it out where the front is. This would be like, crisscross in the front and then a hood in the back I imagine but anyway it's the brand Zia Active it's a size small this brand actually does really well um I heard it's kind of like a pyramid scheme kind of but I've done really well with this brand this is their logo it's like a crescent moon um I've only sold a pair of their joggers once but they sold for like 40 or 50 bucks and hopefully I can find a model photo for this. But this is like new, this is really gorgeous. Um, and I was so excited to find that. And then my favorite thing that I found also in one of those piles that the boys just pushed away and shoved into a corner and didn't even look through, I found this and I felt it. And I'm like, that feels like Lululemon. And I checked, that one doesn't say it. <laughs> and it said Lululemon on there and then it had the symbol on the zipper which you probably won't be able to see and then much later <laughs> i found the logo there at the bottom it's an older style i already looked at the size dot in the pocket it's a size four but i didn't have the code around it which means it's not newer but it is in excellent condition it's like just a navy blue real nice basic hoodie really soft i was so happy to find this i also i found this and I think right before it is when I found the $7. It's also my mom's birthday. My mom's birthday is two days after my birthday. I think that gave me a little extra luck today as well. Um, again, older style. I'll still probably get a good amount of money for it. Hopefully I can find a style name, but it's so basic that I don't think I will be able to. And I don't know if I'll look that hard because sometimes if it's a real basic piece from Lululemon, it just kind of becomes impossible to find out anything about it, but yeah. So that was my haul. I spent, I think I said about $54 and I already found $7. So like more like $47 I spent on all this stuff. I'm really excited. I do have a lot of cleaning to do. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this haul. Let me know what your favorite piece was. I really liked that, the mountain t-shirt. I think that might've been my favorite piece just based on style and everything. And obviously the Lululemon is cute too. <laughs> Not gonna complain about that. Um, but yeah, let me know how your sourcing and selling is going and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye. <laughs>